What's going on, everybody? Sorry for the late video. I'm trying to wrap things up here at the house. So it was a little bit later me getting this uh, recorded. I was going to do two pieces at once onto this video, but I'm going to separate them because the other one's going to take a little bit more time to put together. But this one here I wanted to get out pretty quickly. And this was actually brought to me by somebody by email to show me this. And remember when we started doing these videos to try to make sure that, you know, everything you're buying is safe and you feel good about it? Well, he caught something. It was a uh, 1988 Fleer sticker, Michael Jordan, PSA 10. And when he checked a certain number, he noticed something up with it. So let me pull this up for everybody. Give me a second here. Alrighty here. So this is the card here. It's already a bids at eight hundred dollars, eight oh seven ninety nine, but to me eight hundred dollars, right? So the guy selling this, that's why I'm trying. I sent a message off of my phone over, and I'm hoping it went over to him to tell him that hey, that card's not lining up if you check the certification number because he doesn't deal in cards. He deals with a lot of other uh, miscellaneous items. That he might not know better. So that's why I'm not showing the name or nothing like that onto it. Please don't go blast him because I I'm going to make sure that the email goes out and everything. i got to double check it tonight and stuff like that. But I want to make everybody aware of this. This is why uh, I've been doing a lot of these videos is so that, you know, we have the information out there to make sure stuff's right. So we already know there's a cert number, right? When you go to PSA website, it's supposed to have the PSA hologram. They call it the, well, the Fugitive Ink Technology. It's not on there. As you can see, same cert number, same card, graded 10, last sold 32.5, or that's the value, last sold 2017 by Heritage Auctions. So we know that this card here is not correct in this uh, holder and everything else. The first thing that came to mind when I saw this, it didn't look right, because if you look at the PSA on top of here, and I'll try to catch it a little bit more over, the PSA does not look like the right font on that label, okay? That was the first thing I noticed onto it without even checking the uh, cert number at all. The font just looked a little bit off to me right off bat. So, and as he pointed out, you start looking, and he's like, there's no way this card's a 10. And I started thinking, I'm like, well, the whiting there in the top right could happen as it goes around. The centering's off. I think that mark here in the middle goes to the basketball and stuff. It's probably something on the case and not the card. I could be wrong. But when we go to the back, PSA piece on the back. But if you look at it, that label kind of looks like it's warped in a way. But it could be the plastic. So... Here we go. Look at the top of this card right here with all the whiting on that top. There's no way PSA was going to let that through as a 10. No way. Same with the bottom. So, that's just one card that's out there right now. And people are doing their diligence by checking stuff onto it because... I mean, this card here, as you see, is value, what was it, 23500 by PSA? And what's even more funny is check out the bids. There's still four days left on it. I think it was a seven-day auction. Why is it only at $800? That should be a lot more. So that's telling you that there's another red flag. Why is this thing not above ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 already as a PSA 10? A lot wrong with this. Um, nowhere down here. Uh, is, it, is there anything on it? It says, a close friend of mine pulled this out of a pack himself many years ago. He sent a PSA himself, along with other Jordans, which he owned for many years. And then we get that his recent ill health caused him to sell this gem to me. I understand that there's a pop, a pop of only 11 and gem mint 10. I didn't really look at that part onto it at all. But I, I'm not digging it at all. I want to see what the guy responds back to, to be honest, because it's 100, he has 100% feedback over 600 transactions and all this. And this goes into play with also the other thing that I'm looking into. There was a 
Tom Brady Bowman rookie that was sold, and I just happened to catch it one day. Or no, somebody might have sent it to me even. I think somebody sent it to me. And when I looked at it, I mean, I think it went for like $900. And this will be a different video. But I looked at the label. It's it's not a PSA label. They don't list it as a reprint or anything like that onto it. At least for my knowledge of looking at it. Nowhere on does it say PSA 10. But if you guys know whenever you're going in to create your um, listing, you could put PSA 10 and all that stuff there. It shows that part, but he didn't handwrite it anywhere else into there. So I knew I'd seen the slabs before like that. I couldn't figure out, and I found out quickly uh, after, well, not quickly, but I found out where they were being bought from, and somebody's selling a lot as reprints out there. They're not a reprint. It always remembers, we've hit this before, a reprint is something licensed from that manufacturer that they redid at a later date. Sometimes they put those emblems on the card. Say, if you remember, like, the Jordan Flair Decades uh, card, it was a reprint of his rookie, and they put that on there. Topps does it a lot with uh, certain products as well, too. But the catch was... It wasn't just like there was one card or five cards. There's like 50 cards out there. They're calling reprints, and it's wrong. By law, you could get in trouble for that stuff with trademark infringement and all kind of stuff if you're caught doing it or caught selling it. So people a lot of times will go out, and I talk to a buddy who's a lawyer, and say I opened up a clothing store, and I buy fake Gucci purse purses or whatever Gucci makes from Japan. I sell them, but I even put down their knockoffs. I can get a lot of trouble for that. A lot of trouble. So the next video, it'll come out probably Sunday, Monday is going to talk about it, but I can't expose a whole lot into it because there's some people other than me that have taken notice onto this. I wasn't the only person. And, uh, yeah, as you guys know, it's bad stuff going on in the hobby. And there's a lot of people out there who are starting to report this to the proper agencies. And it, trust me, a lot of times the agencies won't go after them right at bat. They'll just keep watching and watching and watching and monitoring to build a huge rap sheet and go after them. And I do know some people that I was in the military with that, that transferred over into certain law branches and stuff will say and i've had some conversations with them on to a lot of the issues we see in the card industry and they were in shock by what's going on with it but they don't deal with that department so like i said the, the other video i'm doing ha does have some other people who've already seen this and are starting to push the issue onto it prior to me but i don't want to you know ruin what they've done for work on but i want to touch the tom brady card to show you guys onto it that be careful even if they list it as a reprint it's more than likely counterfeit because a reprint is a licensed uh product that that company's redone at a later time or somebody has gone out and gotten the right licensing to do it when you see people would have like 40, 50 reprint cards, you know dang well they didn't do all that because everybody's going to want their money from, say, Tops or Panini. Then you got whatever sports on there because you're using their logos and stuff like that onto it because everybody has their own emblems and everything else onto it. And it starts getting wrapped up into a huge, huge thing. I can tell you this much. With everything that's gone on the last two or three months in a hobby, and even dating back probably about a year or two, it's starting to get looked into a lot more now. And I think over the course of the next year or two, we're going to start hearing and seeing more people getting busted for this stuff. And like I said, some people, it only have like some, one thing of it might not know. And that's expected. There's some people that might not know that card was trimmed or it's a reprint or whatever it may be. Because they're not they don't have the education, the background to check certs and everything else onto it. And they think it's a good deal. So just be careful what you guys are looking at out there and buying. Um this was a perfect example of what somebody sent to me. And 
it's great you guys are out there catching this stuff and pushing it to me. I have no problem doing the videos to show about it and talk about what makes it wrong. And this here, I'm sure, let me see. Oh, wait, lot number. Heritage Auctions. Let's just see if it pulls it up. What do you know? There's the actual Jordan right there. And this is out of Heritage Auctions. Guess what? There's the PSA thing on to it. I didn't know if it would work or not since it was so old. It does. So that shows you this card here is the real one. Now, if you look, look how that PSA is up here. And look at how the numbering and stuff is on to it. And when we come back here, the PSA don't look right at the top. It either does a lot of the font to me. And now, granted, the older stuff, the fonts are tricky. you got to go to the PSA uh, history and stuff like that and match stuff up. And that's why, I basically, if it doesn't match up with the registry and have any kind of flags on it, I pass immediately. Immediately on this stuff. All right, everybody, let me know what you guys think offhand on all the stuff going on out there. Um, do you all think that we're going to see more people being busted and different organizations? I don't want to say organizations because I don't want to start pointing fingers at certain companies, but, uh, you know, certain people that have been doing this kind of stuff, whether they're calling it reprints and it's not really legal to the trim cards, the, all the different scandals going on out there, even from the theft. I think, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think we're going to see a lot more people getting busted and this stuff being reported with the age of social media versus 10, 20, 30 years ago where we didn't really have a whole lot of this stuff going on, a technology and stuff? I mean, we had internet, of course, 20 years ago. But, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of platforms to where everybody could just go to catch this stuff. We're a little bit more advanced now. But I'm just curious how people's thoughts on to it. All right, everybody. Real quick, the fixed pricing auction th uh, video will be up tomorrow. Um, I didn't have everything here because I've been getting stuff ready. At the same time, time frame, a lot of it's going with me <laughs> just because I feel safer traveling that way. And I'm trying to think. It will start 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. I'll be followed by CBC. He'll have his either video out tomorrow or Friday for preview, what he'll have. Plus, he'll, of course, he'll have more stuff than what's on the preview. Um, but I'll be live. Topps Chrome Hobby, Topps Chrome Jumbo will be in the store as I go live Saturday night. I can't, I'm not picking it up till Saturday around lunchtime-ish, maybe even later. And then I got to get home, get everything unpacked, and get everything ready to go and loaded in the store. So... We're pretty much going to look at the uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. It'll be in a store. Every the, the boxes are getting shipped out, so there'll be no live breaks onto that one. And that's pretty much it for everything I got, guys. I just want to make sure I double-tapped everything in the other video on this one, too. All right, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Take care. Have a good rest of the week, and I'll see you guys if you're able to stop in Saturday Night Live.